And welcome to another episode of Dos Naf Cinco's. This is episode number 52. This week we cover in our movie as part of That's What I Call Cinco's Pokemon the Movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, as well as Street Shark Season 3, Episode 16. Uh, before we get started, as always, I'm your host, David. I'm Stuart. And I'm Beth. So, um, outside of our movie of the week this week, uh, Ben, did you see anything else? I did. I got to see a few movies, actually. Uh, first, I watched the old, original 1986, I want to say, Transformers Pokemon. movie. Oh, okay. Transformers. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon! With the Poke and the Man and the <laughs> No, yeah, I went to go see uh, the old Transformers movie, because I've never seen it before. And... You said man. you went to go see it? Was this at a, another drive-in theater? No, no, no. I... I yeah, you know, watch it at home, but it was, uh, you know, it, it was really confusing, especially since I've never seen the TV show. So uh, I was surprised about how many people were in it, like how many big stars were in it. Um, who was uh, the Breakfast Club guy, Judd Nelson? Is that his name? Yeah. Judd or Judge? Not Judge. Judge, uh, Judd, Nelson. Judd Nelson. Yeah. Judge, Judd Nelson. Judge yeah. Nelson. Yeah. Judge Nelson. <laughs> Three years. I sell tubes. <laughs> <laughs> hot shot I said hot okay before we go off on this fucking Judge Dredd tangent um, but yeah it was great seeing or listening to that song so you know you got the touch you got the power they play that a lot in the movie and um, the reason we watched this movie was because uh, my friend and I we went to Comic Con one year and we miraculously like this was like just random dumb luck we decided to check out a uh, hall h randomly during our time there and and hall for, h is yeah so for those who aren't familiar with how comic-con works um hentai. usually yes it's the <laughs> hentai hall, hentai hall. <laughs> it, it is also the biggest hall in comic-con <laughs> and that's why everyone goes for the hentai but anyways uh <laughs> Everyone oh, acts like they're just passing through to get to the other side, but no, they're really <laughs> yeah. Everyone's really <laughs> you use it as a corridor to pass through, but you really stay for the entertainment. Would it be <laughs> appropriate to title this episode "Hentai Hall"? <laughs> Why not? You know, I, I'm pretty sure that'll bring in more views. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Someone, for sure. It's, set, it's settled then. I mean, some 12 year old is going to sit through this whole episode and be like, "What is the hentai?" <laughs> I sat through this 67 minute episode, and there was not one single hentai I don't well know. there was one mention of it and yeah. that'd be funny if we actually cut that part out <laughs> <laughs> yeah because our sponsors you you yeah. had to be there this oh. episode is sponsored by hentai.com all your hentai needs <laughs> what are you, we offend are you fucking ben again why is he a, always flipping things you building oh, why not direct, i can flip right over there fuck I want. <laughs> okay there <laughs> Letty, he's he's throwing things again. <laughs> All right, so you're in Hentai Hall. Continue. Uh, so, uh, Hall H, the Hentai Hall, is the uh, is pretty much where all the big announcements are made during Comic Con. So th these will be presentations for things like Avengers, now with more tentacles. <laughs> Game of Thrones, and now more with tentacles. more tentacles. tentacles. You know, so all those big announcements. So. Uh, usually people have to wait outside for like a whole day pretty much like even before comic-con begins people will be camping outside so that they can get into hall h and get good seats so we randomly decided to go in the middle of the day to see what the line was like and we happened to just miraculously get in there was no line at all i don't know how but for us it was amazing because usually we never get to go so uh the day we went was actually for the Bumblebee movie. <laughs> so, so that's the Transformers movie that focuses on Bumblebee. Now, Loki, I was actually really excited to go because of the director and everything, but I'm not going to get into that. But anyways, I was surprised to say that out of all the presentations we saw, like we, I think we saw like six or seven different presentations, the Bumblebee one was the best one out of all of them because they opened up with a live performance by the original band that played you know you got the touch you got the power and that 
and there was a laser light show and everything. It was fucking rad. <laughs> so what, after no that, no hentai. No, there's right. plenty of hentai. Oh, there was there was lots of hentai. That goes without saying. That goes without saying. That's why there wasn't a line then, because there so, was no hentai at that so moment. So what you're saying oh, is this performance inspired you to one to two years or several years later <laughs> to finally watch the movie. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm saying. Man, that wow. must have been I, that was super inspiring. It was. It was very, very inspiring seven to eight years later, yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, what else so, have you seen? Uh, the other movie that I went to go see was Wicked City. No, I'm not. We did not watch Wicked City. Again. You watched We again? watched okay. <laughs> Wicked City 2. No, we, uh, we watched the, um, the original Power Rangers movie. Nice. Yeah, so I haven't seen that in a very long time. Honestly, it was all a blur to me, but now re-watching it, I'm just like, oh, that's what happened. But at the same time, I'm just like, wait, that happened? This like, was a thing. <laughs> this this was definitely a thing. I totally forgot that, you know, the whole plot was, or so revolved around Ivan Ooze and, you know, brainwashing their parents and all that. Is and that the 95 movie? Yeah, or 90-something. Yeah, something. so 1995. Okay. Yeah. So in in the ranking of the Power Rangers movies, like which one comes first? Is it the 2017 one or this one? For you? Since you just since this one's just fresh. I know this is blasphemous, but I'm going to say the 2017 movie because there was like two or to five minutes of actual Power Rangers in the 2017 one. No, in in this one. So you're saying you know? this? Wait. So you're saying. You're saying 2017 is better because it had less Power Rangers? No, it had more Power Rangers. I'm Power confused, Rangers. Stu. Yeah, I'm confused. Okay, the, the 1990 whatever movie had about five minutes of Power Rangers. And 2017 and had... Much more. <laughs> okay. But the and original also, Tommy's in this one. Sure. So was the, he was in the 2017 one, too. And so was Amy Jo Johnson. So. Sure. But here's here's my gripe about 2017 Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. They gave you that little tease like they were going to start doing the theme and then they just cut it like two seconds in. Because it's supposed to have a sequel where they finish it. They, they learn their montages from how... Street Sharks. Uh, okay, but here's the gripe I had with the 1990 movie. Version. I don't know enough about to contest that 1995 <laughs> movie, so... I just I'm just putting that out there. So I don't know I'm enough stained. about to prove it. Obje- <laughs> so I can't. They uh they didn't play the buckethead version. They they inserted this weird ass version of it, and I did not like it. I see. It was it was not rad. It was definitely not rad. Not radical. Not tubular. Okay. Nope. That's, was not. That's a valid gripe. Yeah. Of so, course, 2017 I- didn't have it at all. So, <laughs> I mean, it had a little. It had it for like five seconds. I wouldn't they were... even call it five seconds. <laughs> it, it had some of it, you know. It had the when they some of the Megazord, right? It gave yeah. you like just enough to like you're about to hear it, and then it, it's like a sneeze that like it was about to come out, and then it didn't. No, That's I thought they felt. they had like a good chunk of time, you know, where they actually sang the words a, and everything. A too. Good chunk of time to me would be like thirty seconds. It was not that. Okay, okay. Anyways, we don't have to get hung up on this whole okay. Power Rangers, which one did it better. Hmm. So so wrapping it up for Ben, it's, you had some nostalgia and you watched some pre-2000s movies. Yep, that was Got it. it. Got it, okay. What about you, Stu? So I actually, like Ben, I watched a, kind of a handful of movies. Um, I'll, I'll just touch on a couple I watched, but there's one in particular I want to talk about a little bit. Uh, so I kind of, I watched um, the mask, Jim Carrey. Yeah, wow. that one's really good. Classic, wow. it was a nice Classic. trip down memory lane. And man, I forgot how like good those uh, the, like those those two songs, like the in the the Hey Pachuco song, and then the Cuban Pete, Cuban Pete, they call me <laughs> Cuban, Pete. Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the Ramba Pete. Chicky boom, chicky boom, boom. <laughs> Classic. It was so good. And then like, yeah, I don't know. It was yeah. So that was fun. Um, the other movie I watched, uh, I just watched last night, was Tropic Thunder. Ooh. Um, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's you know another classic. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but the the movie specifically I watched that I want to mention and I want to bring up uh, was the movie, the recent movie, Underwater, starring Kristen Stewart. Oh, and T.J. Miller? T.J. That... Miller. Oh, my God. Uh, how was that? I was meaning to watch that. So I'll put it, well, okay, so I'll put it to you like this. The only reason why I watched it was because I had it spoiled for me. Oh. But at the same time, had I not had it spoiled for me, I would have never watched it. Oh, okay. So it was kind of like a, a good spoiler, because I would have never watched this movie otherwise. Okay, so was so, it a spoiler that was like, oh, that's fucking stupid, I have to see this, or was it a spoiler that no, it was, was a spoiler like, that was like, oh, fuck, I wish I could have watched this without being spoiled. Oh, okay, okay. So, But you're saying if you never had it spoiled, you never would have watched it. Exactly. But, it was only because Jacob and, uh, what's his name? I, damn it. Crap, what? that joke didn't land. Alright, continue, Jacob? sorry. What? What? Uh, it was a Twilight reference. I don't okay. I don't. That a, a Twilight um, reference. I don't know what you're that. Because Kristen me. Stewart's in, in this. Yeah, so that's about. And that's, that's about all I know about Twilight. <laughs> that's all I know too. That's why I thought it'd be. Okay, well, then who the fuck it. is Continue. Jacob? That the uh the, the werewolf one. So you clearly okay, know wait. more than just Kristen Stewart. I know that the three of them are in it. They're all on the poster right. together. That's not the point. Well, okay. Team Edward or Team Jacob. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to talk about how wait, David wait. is an idiot and <laughs> wait, we did watch all three of them together. We did. What? Did we watch all of them? I thought we only saw like one of them. We were extremely drunk, but we watched it. I only remember cabin. seeing like one well, of them. I'm sure you guys don't remember any of that, but please I continue to. Sorry. I, I, I remember us watching it at the cabin. Anyways. Um so yeah, it was one of the spoilers. So yeah, I think if you watch it, uh depending on, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys, maybe Ben. Uh, you might be pleasantly surprised. Um, Because the reason why I'd never watched it is because I thought it was like just your typical um, escape movie. You're like, oh no, something went wrong. We got to escape and defy the odds. So I'll leave it at that. Um, But yeah, I wish I could have watched it. It's it's a catch-22 because I wish I could have watched it without being spoiled, but I never would have watched it if I didn't know the spoiler. So... Interesting. Okay. So even with that spoiler and everything, just going into that movie without or without taking that spoiler into account, how would you rate that movie? It, it wasn't bad. It was, uh, you know, I'd probably, you know, it's pretty, de- it's pretty decent. Better than I thought it would be. I'll give it like a seven. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. On yeah, Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. IMDb is roughly about a six, five point eight, half. But yeah, for me, I particularly the re- Well, you'll see when you watch it. Uh, there's a reason why I particularly jumped on it okay uh, okay but you'll see so sounds good uh so about you me David? nope nothing just uh street oh, sharks and, and pokemon so great. thanks um, for your contribution david well i'm here leading the podcast and i don't want to take up any more time because i know that people really, <laughs> oh, really? really know what's going on with pokemon. you don't want to take up any more time even though you were playing fucking fall guys until seven <laughs> what was that what, Dave? Ben, you just broke up a little bit. I couldn't hear you. Anyways. <laughs> He's extra angry right now. Um, actually, that game actually started at 650. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to probably end up losing. But I actually did okay. And then... On your fifth try. On the like the eighth try, actually. So, all right. Uh, let's just go ahead and we'll shark dive into our Street Sharks episode for this week. Which is... Episode 16. Uh, So in this one, uh, Dr. Paradigm is colored with jealousy, seeing his creation Maximilian Greco's newfound success and receiving a Citizen of the Year award. He sends in his cronies to steal fame and fortune away from Greco's newly minted casino, which also happens to be the setting of Jackpot from Jupiter, a sci-fi action film starring our fearsome foursome, turning these would-be movie stars into crime fighting sharks once again yeah, thoughts so, so they're just they were just movie stars uh out of nowhere mm-hmm. i feel like I, this isn't the first time this has happened in our viewing of the show but when it started off like with them like there's aliens and there's I, a galaxy <laughs> we're talking about the galactic whatever police force or whatever they're talking about i was just like well i guess this is a thing now uh, you just put them in random like settings and then yeah it's like this is a thing i guess we're i guess there's a galactic whatever uh 
you know, whatever crime syndicate or something. I don't know. <laughs> and I just didn't even bat an eyelash because it was like, okay, this is what we're doing now. Uh, but then they're like, no, see, it makes sense. They're shooting a movie. So did you feel like that was like having the rug ripped from under you? I would say, yeah, I would say after I'd already uh, accepted <laughs> that we are now in this other universe where they are like, futuristic <laughs> space cops <laughs> then, <laughs> and then just put them right back. You were not okay with it again. No, I was like, wait, I already accepted this. <laughs> Why did you take it away now. <laughs> Why couldn't you just let it be? You guys have already established that anything can go on the show. Might as well just let it yeah. keep going and that's it. Yep. Okay. So, what about you, Ben? I'm not going to lie. I completely watched the wrong episode. (laughs) (laughs) Did you watch the hunt one? The one that we covered last week? No, I watched the one where Burns opens a casino and then Marge gets a gambling addiction. (laughs) So he he didn't watch it at all. (laughs) Nope. And then Lisa had to make a costume and then Homer actually had to make it for her. It was a Statue of of Liberty, right? No, she was the state of Florida. Florida. I'm not the state... I'm a monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't watch it. Uh, <laughs> All right, that's fine. I was about to say, thank, thanks for your input. on. Thanks for yeah. the Simpsons update, Ben. <laughs> yeah, fine. well, thank, tune in next time for our next Simpsons Minute, where I talk about a random episode of The Simpsons. Where, where I'm supposed to watch something else, and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I didn't watch the movie of the week. I accidentally watched an episode of The Simpsons and stuff. That wouldn't be the first time that's happened, I'm sure. No, it's already happened. Uh, what episode are we on? 52. Oh, 51 times. <laughs> <laughs> You've been winging it ever since. You'd, you'd be surprised how applicable Simpsons episodes are to movie reviews. Pretty much. All right. Um, in this one, we also did not get a montage once again. Um, I'm afraid and... we'll never see one again. Uh, I, there are 12 more episodes left in the season and the series. So there may be a chance. You never know. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over to our box office rundown. Unless you guys have any other thoughts about this particular episode, Ben, any other important details you think we might've missed? They're aliens. They're movie Fantastic. stars now, apparently. <laughs> yeah. And that too. Also, I want to be paid in Himongo burgers. Did we, did we already was... talk about getting Babish to do Himongo burger from? Yes. Yeah. We, Although we did there's talk. nothing really specific. There's not any like noticeable details about the. It's nothing just that we makes want it burgers. Out. It just makes I me mean, want a burger. To be fair, there are some episodes where I think they just mention a food on Babish, where he he's like takes a movie or TV just show. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, oh, man, I wish I can get some ice cream. And then he's like, all right, I'm an ice cream episode. <laughs> man, you that know? goulash last night made me sick. Yeah, so now we're hey, making... Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Babish. Bring you the goulash from my, <laughs> Rus- my Russian uh, stepmom, the movie. <laughs> that's it, that's for some I reason, I keep expecting for... If he's going to pick up anything from any of ours, would be that uh, the drink that we came up with. I don't We're remember from, what it was. Uh, episode forty nine, uh, the does the perfectly balanced Cinco's yeah, no, what, cocktail. What was in it? I don't remember. Uh, Dramamine milk, uh, shrimp <laughs> shell, <laughs> and uh, the sweat wrung from a KCP sweatband. Gross. Okay. How the fuck do you remember this? I remember the, the random who edited stuff. It? <laughs> I was the one who also edited it. That's oh, okay. where I came up with the name, and also the episode title for episode. F- Wait, was that forty nine? Yeah. Terminator 49. Two. Which one was the one for 48 um, yeah. for the uh, Terminator episode? No, 50. That's 49. 49? Yes. Oh, so there must have been 47 then was the uh, cocktail. Yeah. 49 was the uh, Ben could not get any rock harder than. That's not, that wasn't it. But <laughs> then Sylvester, so, no, until uh, Arnold's Something biceps. Something about Ben getting stiff off of Arnold's biceps. Anyways. No, more than Arnold's biceps. But all right, box office rundown for this week. Uh, we have actually a little bit of movement. Um, there, the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, uh, grossed 865000 and was shown across 300 theaters. Ooh, wait, um, is yeah. that came out? Mm hmm. Oh. Unhinged also debuted at number two. That was at 299 theaters. Uh, Peninsula 
uh, this is its second week, uh, hit 45 theaters with 79,000. So, um, some of the other ones you'll see is like, uh, American deep state. I heard about, uh, the rental I heard is really good. Oh yeah. I, I want to check that one out. I do want to check that one out. Apparently that one got a thumbs up from Stephen King. Huh, uh-huh. that's interesting. It was the directorial debut of Dave Franco. Uh, correct. Is that a Stephen and King book? I don't believe so. No. It thumbs up on my own work. No, I think I think he said that it was a really well done horror film, so that's mm. why he he recommended it. But it, the poster looks interesting. Yeah. And it's got Allison Brie. Mm. Mm, Get that. Mm, what he's, he really wants to scratch that community itch. Oh. No, I, I've been doing that every day. I've just been watching reruns. <laughs> you know it gets infected if you keep scratching it, right? Man, this infection feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of theaters, uh, I thought it would be also interesting to mention that we are three days away from AMC's opening uh, in in a majority of the country, and they are celebrating that with a 15-cent ticket mm. um, as celebration to, I guess, like their opening, their Wait, first ever When's based AMC on opening? uh it's just across um across the country i'm not 100 percent sure where but i definitely checked about- out the ones out here and they're not opening here in california because i think regal is also supposed to be open well according to their last email they sent me on the 21st but who knows if that's changed or not but they're uh giving ever- all the uh regal people one month free subscription what Man, AMC needs to step their game yeah, up. Yeah, get fucked, AMC. I think AMC is also doing something similar where it's like five dollars or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's on Tuesdays. They always do that. AMC's like, I could be cool too. No, for the A list pass, I think. I think that's what it was for. Hmm. Oh, the five dollar stubs uh, A list something. Not sure. I don't know. I saw. I saw something about something like that. Uh, AMC pleb. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, additionally to that, I also have a note that Walmart, uh, starting I believe at the end of of August, will be doing will be converting their parking lots into drive-in theaters. It's selected, obviously, and so you would need to check them out on drivein.walmart.com. Um, and they're showing some older films, obviously. I think Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is one of them. So that could be kind of interesting i checked out the um listings and unfortunately none of our areas around here in orange county for sure um are not part of that but there's not much else to be had but there were a couple of note movies of note that did come out that would be the spongebob movie as well as uh the rental so definitely check those ones out we'll definitely let you know um on one of those for sure ben did you have any interest in watching the spongebob movie at all um not really (laughs) Because I heard you say, Ooh, oh, I was just earlier. interested that it actually came out, you know? Oh, oh, because you thought it would maybe go direct to video or. Yeah, pretty much like um, I, I just didn't know that it was coming out because I know it was going to be a major movie release. And does does Universal have? I platform? don't know. I don't know if they have some sort of agreement with like Hulu or something. I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, let's just go ahead and we'll jump into our movie of the week. Uh, This week was my pick for That's What I Call Cinco's Anime, and I chose the Pokemon movie. Uh, Full title is... No, the full title is Pokemon, the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Correct. Thank you. Um, And so here we go. What began as a desperate attempt to bring his dear daughter, Amber Brack, resulted in the creation of the most powerful Pokemon of all time, Mewtwo. In this coming-of-age movie, Mewtwo struggles to discover who he is and his true purpose and lands on his purpose of cleansing the world of its weak pests, the humans. All that stands in his way of world domination is the aptly named Pokemon trainer Ash Ketchum, his friends Misty and Brock, and fellow trainers armed with their faithful Pokemon and their strength of their friendship. Pokemon, the first movie, Mewtwo strikes back. The challenge isn't to catch them all, but to not catch feelings for this genre-defining anime. Someone spent some time... On that. Wow, look at this tryhard. Look at this fucking tryhard. Woo! There you go. Hey, someone has to. Especially if you're practicing <laughs> Fall Guys. Someone has to play Fall Guys before. <laughs> yeah. And clearly it's me and me using the wrong microphone and screwing everything up. But um, since I picked the movie, I will go ahead and let Stu. I like how you say since, since X. 
then why as if that's, there's any as if there's any oh, no, reason they're never to related reason to it. they should already there's no reason i just want there to sound like there is one but there never is right, what was the question sorry <laughs> go ahead Stu. oh thoughts on boy. this one this one let me tell you uh man this movie was a thing that happened <laughs> and there were stuff there was stuff in it on the screen <laughs> things happened <laughs> you didn't watch it did you no, yeah, I, 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 you you watch in the background at least. I saw that you opened it at least. No, I'm kidding. I did. I did watch it. <laughs> um, no, this movie like it brings back a lot of memories of being a kid, and uh, I think that's the thing I enjoyed about it most. Um, I'm not really gonna like judge it or rate it based on like. Oh, well, the story didn't really make sense or the director who was working on this project was actually, uh, I don't know, whatever. He was an alcoholic, but I don't really care about any of that. Uh, this movie just kind of has like a special place in, in my heart just cause you know, I was thinking about it. I felt like I was in like whatever grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, whatever grade that would have been. Uh, and it was like, Oh man, I like, I didn't really like, Pokemon was never really a thing in my life outside of like early teens and, you know, late, you know, tweens or whatever it is. Um, so it's been like out of my mind for a long time. And then watching it again, I was like, oh man, now I remember why I liked this show as a kid. Uh, it's just got a lot of magic and, and wonderment in it. Um, so yeah, and that, um, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was a nice uh, trip down memory lane. Um, I also, I couldn't watch the movie without also watching the, uh, the little pre pre movie episode of Pokemon that was not in the version on Ben Flicks, which was disappointing. Um, the, the Pikachu's vacation. Oh yeah. I remember they, I remember they showed that in theaters oh, before the movie. Oh. I don't know. I, I was very that on Ben Flicks. Yeah. Ben. So I watched that on, uh, on oddly enough, someone had it posted on Facebook. So. I watched it and it was a good time. Good times were had by all. Um, I gotta say though, the movie started off on a much darker note than I remember. Yeah, actually, I was gonna say that too. I think we that part wasn't in the theatrical release that we watched uh, as kids. A little too dark for Western audiences. I, I think that was actually why they cut it out. <laughs> there was a. I was reading up on it because I when, after we watched the movie. I was like, I really don't remember this fucking first part at all. And it seemed like such a large, well, not large portion of the movie, but it was a significant chunk of the movie. It sets Mewtwo, it sets up Mewtwo's character and his motivation. Yeah, and you don't get that. I, all I remember was like, hey, we made him. <laughs> you know, but and now. Told you, coming of age movie from Mewtwo as a teenager. Disgruntled and just mad at everything what's my purpose I why didn't you make me you? i'm just here to serve you man. and they actually justify yeah. the uh the the end of the movie that everyone kind of complained about somewhat i mean kind of right i don't think as a kid i had enough capacity to, to say like uh, yeah yeah what was the complaint though oh yeah that's what know, i wanted to know well, since we're not doing spoilers or anything you know the the whole tier thing and they're just oh, like the oh we're all crying for you and just like comes back to life at, at least they gave like a line for that where it's like oh you know humans you know tears have so much power you know right. at least they have that i see apparently they do that's really, like, apparently. A thing. i did i did i mean the <laughs> narrator in the beginning was like something pokemon something something life force or i don't know whatever <laughs> yeah which you know as a kid i didn't really care i was just like pikachu ash and the gang yeah, pretty much. The gang gets invited to a Pokemon mm -hmm. tournament. <laughs> Did we ever figure out what happened to Doctor Fuji? Did he die in that uh, giant yes. explosion? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, it's pretty. That's a pretty dark opener because basically Mewtwo like murdered everyone. In the, in not Wait, just. No, they I, I thought they kept that part in. Didn't he absorb everybody, technically? No, I mean, all the other he murdered all the scientists at the facility. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he also murdered his, like, his daughter's I don't know about that part. consciousness. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I wasn't I really think, too... That seemed like a thing that was happening normally, where, like, he was trying to bring her back, but it was a constant, it was like a constant failure that that would happen. So I don't think Mewtwo mm -hmm. did anything for that. 
But yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but he was just so strong. That's the reason why so. he was able to survive. But, I guess. Uh, to, to wrap it all, all up right. for me, uh, I'll give this. Uh, I give this movie like an eight, based based solely on nostalgia, and that's really that's the only way I can view it. Those too is like there's no other score I can give it. Yeah. Yeah. You can't divorce it yeah. from your nostalgia. Okay, well that's fair. Uh, what about you, Ben? Uh, thoughts? My thoughts are very much in line with Stu's on how this was very nostalgic. I, I did want to mention how it kind of brought me back to that point in my life where I was at the movie. My mom took me to the movie theater, you know, and I had this very vivid memory of, you know, actually buying my movie ticket. My mom actually, I think it was the first time she was like, all right, here's some money. Go up to the ticket go counter. interact so, with a person for the first time. Yeah, pretty much. It, it was that. And I was just, you know, terrified out of my mind and I do it. And I'm like, oh, this is so scary. And then I turn around and there's this mom who runs up to me. And is like, hey, hey, did you just buy a ticket? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I buy that card off of you. you. You know how they gave you the ancient view? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the, the knockout yeah, card. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was during that Pokemon mania frenzy, right? Where everyone was like obsessed about it. And yeah. I guess parents... Uh, I do remember watching like a news story about this where parents were just like parked outside of movie theaters asking if people were going to go watch that movie and if they wanted the card or not. And so people would try to buy the card off of those people Man. or, you know, just try to take it. Yeah. Man. You know, the crazy thing is they were reselling those cards for like triple their value. But if you just bought a ticket for $12, yeah. you would have gotten I think there was like a issue where, was where it was run, they were out of <laughs> stock in some areas. If I was oh, I felt like we were really late in watching it. Out. And I still got a card. Yeah, I got one too. Uh, I <laughs> And then you no, actually, actually sold I it. I gave it away this a few months ago, actually. Uh, I gave away all my Pokemon cards. Wow, what a fool. Oh, wait, did I you know. give him the buoy? Uh, no, it was for my coworker's son. Yes, yeah, so, buoy yes, Bowie is my son. Yes. yes. I knew it. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, this movie was very, very nostalgic, except that first 10 minutes where they go over <laughs> his... I don't remember... Yeah, I w I'm with you guys. I'd never... When I was watching, I was like, I don't remember. It. This is <laughs> yeah. his origin story. Yeah. Holy no, crap! I, mean, I, I do remember the part where he kills everyone. I just don't remember everything leading up to that because <laughs> I looked online and I read up, you know, a few articles about how they cut out how you know Mewtwo was growing up. But apparently, in the uh, in the cut that we watched, it just opened up with them, you know, with Mewtwo fully grown up, and then he kills everyone. That that. that Oh, because this one's the Japanese yeah, and one, I, right? but for some reason, they still dubbed over it. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I know that uh, Netflix actually released a 3D yeah. version of the the movie what, last so, year, yes. I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. I added it on my watch later thing or whatever on Netflix, and I never did. Mm -hmm. And he never watched it. It's always going to stay <laughs> uh, on the I heard list. that the animation for that was ass, so... It was like a 3D one, though? It wasn't just the original movie? Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Original movie, more? 3D. I don't know. Apparently not very well. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to watch it to find out. Um, so what about you, Ben? My rating? rating, you know, it's very nostalgic. And, uh, you know, surprisingly, the story held up pretty well for me, you know, with, with everything that happened. And it, it played really well to its strengths, you know? It... it, it it, it's very charming with everything that you remember, you know, Team Rocket and everything. Uh, I would have to give it a one, a solid one, because anime is trash. You know, Ben, I'm not going to stand for this Anime's anymore. trash. Anime is trash. Gonna, this solid is coming one. from a guy who has an accurate jacket. Anime is trash. Solid he has one. articles of clothing. Trash. Just trash. Just pure. Of anime. Pure trash. Okay, what's your real score? Solid one. Okay, what's your real score? I already told you, it's a one. <laughs> so, David, what's your score? I think he... Uh, mm -hmm. My score is an eight. Um, mostly for the... I think this is one of those... These are one of the first memories I had of going to the theater, of picking movies I actually wanted to see. Pretty sure my dad didn't go with me, even though that's usually the person I go see movies with. Um... It was, I think it was my mom who was like, yeah, okay, all right, whatever. We'll, I'll take you and your brother to go see it. So we went to go see it. And then we ended up with the card. And then I, 
started collecting like the trading cards and all that stuff so it kind of brings back all these memories for that stuff watching it now as an adult i'm like watching it, i'm like well that's a dark theme and then towards the end i was like that's what it is i know that they're really preaching they're really pushing this like friendship thing but it, it for some reason when it comes to some of the nostalgic ones i'll usually like add a couple points here or there because it it brings up like these memories and all that stuff but the story i, I couldn't give it a 10 i normally give these nostalgic like trips of 10 but i just couldn't do it for this one because i was just like the story is kind of meh overall yeah, i don't really care about um, the story but yeah. yeah i mean i thought it I would have saw more Pokemon battles instead of it's just at the end. It's just them beating each other up. And then enough of that in the TV show. Yeah. I mean, and it's wait. Okay. So so, (laughs) I thought it was really random. Speaking about the soldier and everything, I I know they like played hard into, you know, um, tying this with the TV show and giving people what they want. And I I really appreciate that. You know, they knew what their strengths were. They knew like what people are going to remember about like, the tv show like going into this so a lot of it was like you know callbacks to tv show there was even an instance where there was an uh an event that happened during the movie that they tied into the tv show where uh mewtwo destroys giovanni's gym and flies out i believe that scene was actually in the tv show and i remember that as a kid so that was really cool Mm -hmm. uh but in terms of the actual Mm -hmm. english production of it they actually you know did that whole who's that pokemon bit right and they they reference that a lot in the in the movie where it was like oh yeah yeah they they got it wrong they got one of them wrong it was cypher right they said alakazam but it's cypher they're like that's not right (laughs) yeah i don't see an alakazam here at all what the fuck you smoking Fucking English dub. Did they not get someone to dub that movie who knew anything about Pokemon? Fuck. No. Yeah. They got all the well, other ones right. They just Pikachu got that wrong one particularly wrong. wrong. They, they actually got another one wrong. They got another it was one wrong. Oh, uh, did they? It, oh, was it? Oh, was it like Jigglypuff? No, no. And it was like, like no. Um, I, one of the trainers had a uh, Pidgeot, and he called it Pidgeotto. Did he? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that part. Yeah, so that one was a, the hmm. blanket you'll miss it kind of moment because he just said, oh, this is my Pidgeotto, you know. Yeah, but it was a Pidgeot, so that's yeah. it. Well, so yeah, that's why I docked the two points. Actually, or else it would have been a the reason why I docked it is because the whole, um, you know, kind of like the epic, epic climax where everyone starts fighting, the song they play over that just fucking does not fit. I mean, yeah, that's kind of weird. I get the idea of what they're trying to like, my brother, it's so my brother, brother, or whatever I the fuck. So upbeat. And it was like, everyone's fighting right now. Why are you playing this fucking soft ass shit? Like, ah, uh, should have been everybody oh was <laughs> fighting. Right. Clearly, no, David. It should have been, I want to be the very best. <laughs> yeah. I was. Did they yeah, actually they did. play the, the Pokemon beginning. song? Yeah. Not no, not but like the movie. I feel like that would have been yeah, a good time I at the very it. end, right when they're like running from the bridge. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I, I do want to mention this. I, uh, no, 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 not the fighting portion where they're the slapping each other. Also, that was a little like underwhelming uh-huh. too, because in the beginning or in towards the middle where they first introduced the clones, they're everyone's doing their special abilities, but then when they come to fight later, they're just grappling. Yeah, that was kind of that's kind of lame. They're just hugging <laughs> each other. Yeah. Oh no, but that's because Mewtwo even says, "I'm going to use my psychic powers to be able to suppress all the say? special yeah. abilities." He said that. No, he said that he's he suppressing did. their like uh, their overpowering abilities, but it doesn't stop them from doing flamethrower or yeah. you know other shit. Gust attack. I thought I'm pretty sure he says that he the the psychic abilities suppresses any special no, ability he, he was talking was about like power, because but, he yeah. made them stronger than the other people or the other the originals the that's what he was the stronger part yeah yeah and i i do want to mention okay. that they they kind of tried to jam this moral of the story into the movie where it's like fighting is bad right but friendship is good but at the same time it, it was like as soon as they said it, I, I feel like they were trying to cover their own asses. Where Nurse was like, "Oh my gosh, this fighting's horrible." Not like this anymore. Yeah. When it's when it's done in this fashion, 
Yeah, well, you know, we usually you know make them fight to the death anyways, but not like yeah. this. <laughs> Only in competition is it acceptable. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, that, that, that was little, that was pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, I guess last question, and we'll wrap up this segment, um, is favorite Pokemon. Original, original 150 only. I just, yes. wanna, I just, cause Ben's a fucking zoomer and he might fucking go off on whatever, as much as he says, fuck anime. He probably knows all the other Pokemon. Dude, I, I was, uh, watching Irene play Pokemon go the other day. Not really like watching. She opened it up cause we were watching Pokemon. She's like, Oh, I wonder what. And the first thing was like, Oh, a wild. I don't know what the hell that thing was. I was like, I don't recognize that fucking thing at zoomer all. Pokemon. That's not from the original 150. Yeah. When they stopped running out of colors and they started, shield and sword i was like you guys lost me a long time ago um but Stu, favorite pokemon if your favorite starting pokemon Start, like which non-evolved easy. pokemon or just like a starter pokemon mm-hmm. i've started with charmander charmander yeah. what about you ben i started with squirtle you're fucking gary you're literally <laughs> fucking gary it's like me and Stu choose charmander you're like hey i'll choose squirtle <laughs> yeah fucking counter us like you did yeah wow what the fuck man <laughs> I remember being very disappointed when I got the Pokemon game because I was very into the show. So I started playing it. I'm like, where's Pikachu? How come I don't have a Pikachu? Oh, yeah. I was very upset. Yeah, I was very upset. And then, of course, by the time I because I got blue, I think I got red and then blue or the other way around. And then way after, like, I was done playing all both of them, yellow comes out. And I was like, fuck, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. <laughs> yeah, that, actually, so I did the same thing where I got red version. And I'm like, where's Pikachu? You know, I, that's the only one I want. Very disappointed. And then here's the best part. So yellow version comes out, right? And it came with this. Uh, they also released a special edition Game Boy color with it, I believe. Oh, the, the Pikachu yeah. yellow so Game Boy. I was like, oh, man, that sounds really cool and everything. And I, we were... I was at that age where sibling rivalry was, you know, really big and, you know, pounded. So my sister overhears that, and she fucking asks, you know, for her birthday. I don't remember what it was, her birthday, Christmas, something. For that fucking yellow Game Boy Color <laughs> and Pokemon Yellow. And you just play in front of me all the fucking time. I'm just like, can, I, can you trade it with me? <laughs> Mom, Dad. Can I get my celebratory gift for not being and, Ben? And now Ben is the man he is today because of it. Yep. Old, scorned, and just <laughs> old, bitter <Just> hatred. Dated, <laughs> resentful. <laughs> and without a fucking Pikachu. Okay. Borderline alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I, although I always, my favorite one of the 150 was, um, was like Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. I always liked that one. Ooh, nice. What about you, Ben? It has and always will be fucking slow poke <laughs> it, it's his face it has to be his face you know he, he... and that's the reason why ben after two years after the bumblebee um you know seeing bumblebee the the bumblebee movie at comic-con decided to watch the original transformers many 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 yeah. years Did later you guys not <laughs> no what's the one with that carries around the leak uh farfetch part that's right yeah. So I remember seeing that one. Oh, my favorite has always yeah, been Joe Snorlax. Joe would appreciate Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> Snorlax. We should get Joe with like a Snorlax pillow or something. Yeah, Snorlax comes with uh, with four day old <laughs> Del Taco and, bean and cheese burritos in a car container. Standard. Car, car sous vide. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll wrap this one up. So I know that. We have one more person who gets to pick an anime movie, and we've I've had actually a couple people who've been sitting on pins and needles waiting to find out what Ben for that's what I call Cinco's anime. Oh what boy! Is your choice? Oh boy! So at- since anime is trash, I know that you're gonna oh, pick a trash worry, movie. He's, he's no, he's right? gonna pick like the most renowned, like critically acclaimed, and then afterwards you can say like fuck, fuck anime. No, actually, so I'm finally, I'm actually off the hook for this because uh, a recent sub actually reached out to me and asked me to pick a movie for him. Thank you, Samtron200. I'm going to choose your movie so that we can retain your viewership. I'm going to be choosing Final Fantasy Advent Children. Okay, cool. I've never seen it. 
Oh, okay, cool. I thought you were about to say <laughs> say the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Wait, you thought he was gonna say which one? Say, no, Spirit yeah. Away. Final Fantasy VII: Spirited Away. Spirited Away. <laughs> <laughs> That works. All right. So, yeah. So join us next week. Um, Ben's pick was given to somebody else. So Sam Trung, 200, 100. I don't care. Whatever. Um, thanks for uh, contributing. We expect you to be the first sub once we get to 50. And first comment. Yeah. So um, thank you so much for that. Uh, we will, as always, it's and I've been your host, David. And I'm Ben. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. Don't forget to tip your Reiki masters. Wash your hands. Stay six feet away from each other. Definitely come check us out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, and YouTube, as well as on Twitch, uh, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Be safe out there. Okay, bye. bye.